So I got some tires I need to install and I'm gonna make a bead breaker. And I think I got enough metal to figure it out. So by the way, you can buy one of these bead breakers for like 49 bucks at a Harbor Freight. But this one will be mine. Makes it more special. It's gonna round the corners off a little bit. One thing I had to learn, took me some time and cost me a lot of blades, is slower is better with steel. Speed just heats up and dulls a blade and flattens out the teeth and then it stops working and then you gotta use another blade. Going slow cuts faster, avoids heat, and makes a blade last longer. Now this is where the beauty of owning a drill press comes into play. I'm gonna drill through two plates and they'll be in the exact same position on both plates. Okay, I'll be right there. My adjustable pivot point. All right, now I gotta make the pivot point for the piece that goes down to the wheel. Tube, square, it'll work. Sure it will. So this is gonna be my pivot point. I'm gonna weld it to the handle. And then we'll run a bolt through it to hold the rod that goes down to I don't know what you call it, the bead, the bead piece that presses on the bead.
the head. So I got some cleanup to do. <laughs> Look at that. It's completely adjustable. If I want a little more leverage because it's kind of low, I can raise it up or lower it down. Let me lower it down. Oh, <laughs> it works. So the weight of the tire, holding the, oh yeah, that works fine. I got a ton of leverage there. This really ugly bead breaker technically is done. All I gotta do is clean it up. I might even hit with a little paint, make it look nicer. So it's when it's sitting in the garage, it doesn't make me sick. It's not my best work. I made it up as I went along. I used a bunch of scrap metal, but it'll break a bead, no doubt. And I've got four tires to do soon, so we'll get to test it out. All right, we'll let that dry. Do the other side, call this thing done. This is the finished product. Not bad, huh? <laughs> All right, the paint is dry. This is done. We're going to leave it right here next to my other frame stand for the motorcycle. Two custom built tools right here. So I'm waiting for a couple of things from Amazon before I can start my wheel project. But when they get here, we'll get underway and we'll do some bead breaking. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. God bless you. We'll see you next video. Take care of yourselves. Alexa, light off. Thank you.